It was a warm August evening in 1998 when the unthinkable happened in one of St. Louis' quietest suburbs. Felicia Gale, a beloved former journalist, was found brutally murdered in her own home, stabbed over 40 times. Her death sent shockwaves through the community, but the real shock came years later when the man convicted of her murder was moments away from execution despite new evidence that could prove his innocence. Felicia Gale had retired from a career with the asterisk St. Louis Post-Dispatch asterisk to focus on charity work and community causes. She was a kind soul, known for helping others. But her story would take a dark and violent turn on August 11, 1998, when she was found murdered inside her own home. The crime scene was gruesome. Over 40 stab wounds, no signs of forced entry. Was it a robbery gone wrong or something much more sinister? As investigators pieced together the details, they found no clear answers. But they did find one suspect. Just days after the murder, attention turned to a man named Marcellus Williams, a local who had been caught with Gail's stolen laptop. But was he really the killer? With no direct evidence tying him to the scene, the case rested on the testimony of a jailhouse informant and an ex-girlfriend. Despite doubts, the jury found Williams guilty and sentenced him to death. Fast forward to 2015, nearly two decades after the crime. Forensic scientists performed new DNA tests on the murder weapon. The results? The DNA on the knife didn't match Marcellus Williams. But despite this revelation, Williams remained on death row. His fate sealed. August 22, 2017, the day Marcellus Williams was set to die. But just hours before his execution, Missouri's governor stepped in and granted an emergency stay. Why? Because of mounting pressure over that DNA evidence and the fear that the state might execute an innocent man. The case exploded in the media, sparking a national conversation about justice wrongful convictions and the death penalty. Could Marcellus Williams be the victim of a deeply flawed justice system? Williams supporters argue that DNA testing could exonerate him, but others point to his possession of the stolen laptop and the testimonies as proof of his guilt. The truth? It remains hidden somewhere between conflicting evidence and unanswered questions. Today, Marcellus Williams remains on death row and the Supreme Court refused to block Missouri from executing Marcellus Williams. Was he wrongfully convicted of a crime he didn't commit? Or has justice been served? This is more than just one man's story. It's a question of life and death, justice and doubt. And the final verdict may not be in the courtroom. It may be in your hands. If you believe in the power of justice, the importance of truth and the value of life, stay tuned as we continue to uncover the truth behind the murder of Felicia Gale. And remember, the pursuit of justice never rests. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please like and subscribe.